Hey, hello everyone, Michelle here. It's uh, unboxing time again, and this is the wizardry box. Um, and I need to talk to Geek Gear politely because I never got my classic or my wizardry wearables, which I started subscribing to again last month. So I'll I'll do that. And what I did get was a second copy of last month's box. I did try contacting them via Twitter, but I hadn't had a response, so let this be my note to self to email them. So that's why I've not done as many unboxings, because uh, I haven't had any boxes to unbox. But we do have the Wizardry box. It's from Geek Gear. Um, they are always pretty good value. Um, they, you know, When you do talk to them, they are nice people. I just haven't done it yet. Um, so yeah, from I think it's uh, 20 odd pounds, depending on your subscription you decide to go for. And uh, yeah, usually a t shirt, get an art print, they're still doing the tees. Other than that, it's going to be a surprise and a mystery. So let's uh, let's open it up and see what we got. Oh, and if, forgive me one moment. Hey, thank you. So, yep, yeah, let's, uh, let's do the t shirt thing first. Ooh, that's interesting. Top. Oh, hang on. I think I just worked out what this is. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, the Basilisk. Oh, actually, I've, been, I, um, I've got a few t shirts. Like, I've got like one that is very specifically Halloween. It's like a, a Simpsons t shirt that is like a Treehouse of Horror thing. Um, and I've got a few other t shirts that are kind of Halloween y that I was going to wear like all this week. Well, yeah, from Monday to, well, pretty Friday. Uh, yeah, I think this might fit in quite well with the sort of mystic Halloweeny theme. Uh, yeah, it's not much at the bottom, so yeah. We got the book, we got the fang in it. Uh, yeah, that's literally the bottom of the thing, it's just the bottom of the, the book, so keep it neatly folded. Um, yeah, no, that's really cool. I like that. I like the, the simple silhouetted design of it. Um, it's quite a thick plastic, so that might cr end up cracking with some use, but that'd be alright. Big, big like um, snakes, girls. So yeah, first off, t-shirt. Doing all right. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh! It looks like the worm dudes have um, custom them to to house. Um, so yeah, they're actually blue and bronze. They're actually bronze, which is not <sighs> proper Ravenclaw colours. Awesome. I wonder if they're going to do stuff with eagles on it. Uh, let's go for this. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, this was either a candle or a, some kind of drinking vessel, and uh, we get some kind of drinking vessel. So, uh... oh wow! Um, okay, so um, it's kind of like a display cup. I don't know if you. I mean, I guess you'd have an espresso in it, espresso. Um, but uh, it's a Morcia uh, love potion. Hogwarts apothe uh, yeah, apothecary department. I don't know if Hogwarts has an apothecary within the the um, actual school grounds. I know obviously Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley will have an apothecary, but I'm not sure about actually being in the school. But it is very pretty. It's very cute. Um, I don't tend to drink espresso, so uh, you know I'm not sure what I'd actually have. I might just have it in display, like with the other potions and stuff. But um, that's cute. I like it. Okay. We also... How do we do this for? Yeah, alright. I'm um, keeping on theme with um, vessels for liquid food. You know, drinks. Um, tea tin. <laughs> Wizardry tea tin. So, uh, let us open it up and... <laughs> oh! Oh wow! Okay, it's, I um, I started unwrapping the thingy and it was like I solemnly swear that. Like, All right, cool. So it could be like an I'm up to no good marauders kind of thing. No, no. I solemnly swear that I love my tea. There we go. Oh, what do we got going on here? Okay, so it's kind of like a marauders map thing, but without all the footprints and stuff. Um, this sort of kind of. It's either a Marauder's map or just a really random geometric designs. And uh, yeah, just a tea, 
Kelly thing. Um, I'm guessing the idea is to put like the teas that they've done in it, but obviously there's multiple flavours and it's only one tin. So at the moment they're still in their original baggies. But that is a very cute tin. I like a good tin. I appreciate that. So I don't know if I'm actually going to end up putting a tea in it or if I'm going to put something else in it. But um, I like a tin and this is very cute. I know I just said that twice but I'm tired. <laughs> and um, you know. Yes. Uh, so keeping on theme. Well I might as well grab the tea. Um, Basilisk blood. Hey! So it's on on theme for the tin and the, the cup. But also... On, on theme for the um I wonder if that was the the because I don't think we got the card last week did we? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so we've got the basilisk tea. Um so let's have a look. It is black tea um with black with flavouring and blackberry leaves, so quite a simple one. Uh, hundred degrees, three to five minutes. Ooh, wild cherries. How are we going to get a wild cherry flavour from blackberry? Alright, let's have a sniff. Let's uh, open up and see. Alright, one moment. But yeah, so that's, that's... No allergy advice this time, which is nice. Just tea and berry. Oh wow! That really does smell like cherry, that's really bizarre. Um, not much to show really, it's kind of like, you know, black with little, little green, little white pale bits, but yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. It smells amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, there's the tea. There we go, let's just fill that back up. Um, there's a wand, and the ticket for the wand has fallen out, so what we got? Uh, Dr her Draco wand, as in dragon, not you know Malfoy. Uh, length thirteen and a half core dragon heart string, obviously, and hawthorn as the wood. Um, so that's the information, and let's see what it looks like. And it looks like oh, actually, that does look pretty nice. Which way out? There we go. Ra. Oh, it looks quite coy cool, actually. Yeah. A little bit shy. A little bit coy. Um, yeah, so we got. I actually, I've never measured these. I've never seen if they are the actual length that they say on the thing. Um, well, uh, this is this is a 12 inch ruler. Um, and it is longer than a 12 inch ruler. Uh, I should say. <laughs> This one's all in metric. There we go. So, there's the inches. Um, as you can see, it goes up to 12. Uh, I'm going to start the head here, like horn, and then there you go. So, it's definitely longer than the 12 inches, and that could be about 13. So, that's actually pretty neat. It is neat that it's the length that it says it is. Hello, I am the dragon. Who talks like Snape? Rah. <laughs> I have no idea. But uh, oh, swine's at the back. Very cool. Very cool. I like it. Get a little, little schmuck. Get a little schmuck on your back. Yeah. There we go. Got the, got the schmuck off. So yay. Uh, wand. What's a the little? Actually, if I put his nose in my palm. It's not too spiky. If I do it the other way around, it's a little spiky. But yeah, yes. Woo. There we go. So, new one for the collection. I have been noticing, actually, that the ones that are their own original designs, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I'll say it again in case you're a new person. If you are, hi. Um, the, the ones that are based on films, or on the actual films, you know, the, the prop ones, um, they tend to be ones that you could just, like, lay down, put on the side. Whereas all the ones that they've kind of come up with themselves are, like, you, you want it upright, so they're, um, so you can actually see the heads. And I actually have a TARDIS mug in the cabinet that is like full of all my stand-up mug um, ones, and then the other ones are just laying down on the shelf above. So there you go. 
Um, we have another, excuse me, we have another poster. But we've got a lot of poster prints. Um, if you have any information concerning Death Eaters, please contact your nearest aura offer office. Uh, thousand galleons for the information leading to the arrest of a hey, Death Eater. So there you go, we're reading it as we're opening it, saving some time. And I wonder if it's like a specific Death Eater or just, you know, have you seen? Oh, okay. Oh, it's, it is Malfoy. It is Lucius. Caught Lucius Malfoy. Constant vigilance. Death Eaters are among us. Remember, negligence costs lives. Sorry, you can't see that. Um, it's quite a long one, actually, as well. Um, yeah. I remember... Okay, so this is kind of a bit of a random one. Um, I remember when Jason Isaacs first started playing Lucius. Because at the same time... Um, yeah... It, It was a version of I think it was like Peter Pan. It wasn't like Hook. It was it was a version of Peter Pan. Um I think it's I think it's Armageddon Joe Sumter. Um it's a really good version. I can't remember the year now. It would have been the early aughts. And basically, um Jason Isaacs was playing obviously he was playing the dad, uh, and Captain Hook. Um at about the same time that he got the part as Lucius. And I remember an interview with him where he was always saying, yeah, so all children are going to hate me and be scared of me now. Um, but he seemed, like, really sweet and charming. I think, honestly, it's, like, the only... Unless it's, like, um, an actual interview on the DVDs, you know, the, the pot of DVDs. Um, you know, it's, I think it's the first interview, sort of, first and only interview I've seen with him in the wild. Like, it just happened to catch it. And, uh, yeah, no, he seemed like a really nice guy, but, you know, was concerned because he was playing two mean characters in close succession that are... You know, in family entertainment rather than, you know, just like playing a bad guy at a, a murder mystery or something. So, no, I thought that was kind of cute. And I'm, I am just trying to spend more time while I put my poster back in its wrap. And for some reason, it's gone all weird. Um, so, that's not opening. Why aren't you opening? I usually open better. Alohomora. No, it didn't work. Okay. It's because I used my wand. <sighs> Get in there. Sorry, it's just it's being annoying. This is the quality, the high quality entertainment you you tune into this channel for. Um, again, if you're new, hi, welcome. Um, uh, please, please stick around. I also have movie reviews. I uh, reviewed Official Secrets with my friend Adam. Um, we uh, spoilers, we liked it. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting movie. There we go. There uh, we are. So, what else we got? We have the scratch card, in which I almost never win. Never will try. And uh, we have the spoiler card, which will also tell us what next week's month, month, month is all about. We have... So what do you think? What do you think? Blue, the actual colour-coded worm guys? Or do you think just the generic worm guys are better? Because either way, they're going to end up in the bin. Because I don't really have much use for them. And then we have... Um, then we have our art print, and it's got a bit of fire. And I think I've just remembered that that was actually the clue word for this month. I think I remember saying, because this is the video I did with Adam, that usually the clue word is relating to the, the, the print on the t-shirt. And um, it was the print. Uh, oh yeah, we got Harry Potter, who's always his name's come out. What do I think of this one? Um, I think it's kind of cute. Uh, so you've got the, their names along the back here, but you can't really see their behind. So we've got Victor Crumb, Fleur de Colour, Fleur de Colour, Cedric Diggory, Harry Potter. Oh, it's going in. Yeah, it's like just keep going behind it. I think, okay, yeah, you have the... You know, a little scrap of paper with Harry Potter flying out. I think it would have been kind of cute if they had if they were gonna do that. I know the Harry's name coming out of the Triwizard Cup is significant. But you know, why not have all the names coming out? They're still all competed after all. Uh it's okay. It's kind of more of a functional, like I say propaganda, like, you know, a promotional type thing rather than a you know, huge artistic value. It's cool. It's fun. Um not my favourite, but not terrible either. So uh that it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so that's, 
this month. Let's have a quick look at the cheat sheet, make sure we haven't lost or missed anything. And find out what next month's theme is. Uh, thank you for subscribing, October. Alrighty, we have t shirt I like the t-shirt. I, I like simple silhouette, you know, solid designs. I think that's cool. Uh, we have the licensed print. Uh, we have the unique one, Draco, Dragon. Uh, we have the exclusive tea tin, which I like. I, I think it's really cute. Um, I do actually collect tins. I've got loads of them. Um, license a washer mini mug, which is adorable. Um, probably won't actually drink out of it. Um, put it somewhere safe in the cupboard. Uh, maybe with my um, bar of beer cup. And Lucius Malfoy poster. And the tea. The Basilisk tea cherry blood thing. Uh, YouTuber of the uh, <laughs> person of the month is RTG Inzi. Um, this cheerful looking fella down here. So feel free to check him out sometime. And then the clue is McGonagall. Yep, McGonagall. So that'll be fun because normally. Well, okay, last year, and this is another reason I need to write to them. Last year it was the Christmas one they did in November, except I never got mine. Um, they said, oh yeah, it should be posted and it never arrived. Um, so that'll be interesting because if they're doing the same thing again, I'm wondering how they're, they're going to fit Christmas stuff and we're going to go together. But either way, that's this month's box. Uh, best item. I really like this wand. Um, I like, you can see the work's gone into it. Even if it's like machine work, someone still had to make that program. I don't think it's machine done. But if, you know, because it, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. It smells, it smells wooden. It smells wee. I mean, I know like the actual, the ones themselves, they've got like an iron core in it. They, they, they put, because it's got some weight to it, they put a hunk of metal in it so it doesn't like you know, bend or anything. But, uh, yeah, no, this is really cool. I like it. <coughs> um, like I said, I like tins. I collect tins. Um, this is really cute. Uh, yeah, I think best item probably is going to be the wand, just because it's the detailing in it. And let's see if I won anything on the ticket. I've had a few 10% off, but I haven't cashed them in yet, so... Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, I think this might be better luck next time. Uh, I still, for some reason, cannot read this off this card. But I have uh, this. No win, better luck this time. Uh, yeah, uh, this is, I bought this from Amazon. And it is a necklace. Um, but I think it's quite pretty. That has a magnifying glass behind it, which I use at work. Because I do a lot of close-up work. So that's what that is, in case you were curious. Uh, alrighty, I'm definitely going to get into babble mode in a minute, so I'll cut off before I get into babble mode. Um, if you have been, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, especially those of you who get right to the end and enjoy the babbling, because I can't think why else you'd be here at the end. Um, but yeah, have a good rest of your time between now and next time I see you. Um, feel free to, you know, do the things underneath the video if you want, or check out the other videos I've done. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. You're awesome. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.